A lot of airstrikes uh, and naval artillery, starting from like around just before midnight last night, um, to the east, east-ish of my current location. Your life is going on in different ways here. Like maybe, uh, you know, roughly a third of shops. A lot of, a lot of like the markets are still ongoing. People are carrying on with their life because. Um, well, you can't just be cooped up indoors forever, you'd, you'd, you'd go mad. And but one of our neighbours um, has solar power that could power the water pumps, so in theory we should be able to get water uh, okay now, so that's good. But, you know, I must emphasise, we're... We're a fringe case, and uh, you know, people, other people don't have this facility. People, even people in UN schools, are really, really suffering through lack of water uh, and food shortages. People want to say that people are worried sick every time someone leaves the house. It's a very, very scary situation, and people are terrified, and justifiably so, because every hour there's news of people being bombed in their homes and dying. Uh, families on mass. I, I, I hate the fact that he has to be making these calculations about wondering whether he's safe here when, you know, like children should not have to think about being safe from bombs. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.